we're having Julia Child's beef bouillon. bouillon. However you say bouillon, but it means Burgundy. Well, then, no. It's yeah. Noir from Burgundy, mm. which this dish originated in Burgundy. And the other wine is a Barbaresco from Piedmont, Italy. Mm. And the Nebbiola grape, which is what Barbaresco and Barolo are made out of, is said to be like the Pinot Noir of Italy, that the grape is thin skinned, is similar, but it's more probably more tannic. Um, but anyway, that's that's the pairing. And hey, look at the legs on that, but really. Yeah, I love legs. Mm. Mm. The other one's okay. But you don't like it as much? I like we'll it take, better, but they're both delicious. Start eating. I will. <laughs> and not to sway everybody's no. wine pairing choice on this one, right. but traditionally, you would drink wine from the region, in Europe, you would drink wine from that region with their regional dish. Yes. Mm. Okay, so you drink Burgundy. You would do a Pinot Noir. 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 Yes. Pinot Noir from mm. Burgundy with beef bour bourguignon. <laughs> so, you know, they, they in Europe, right, they're, they're making wines to go, to go with their regional food. food. If you can't drink with it, you shouldn't cook with it. That's my motto. But you don't want to cook too much with it that you don't have anything left to drink. Tell us about how you made the beef dish. So it's a traditional Julia style, you'd seep it first in the wine and oh, let it yes. for a while? And... You, you bake it for hours. There's a whole, it's a long process. But that causes it to be more tender. Let's stick together, as you said. Yeah. You can taste all the layers in there. Yeah. My brother's famous story was like he went to BU in like 1973. And he got a job as a market research guy on a door to door in Boylston. And knocks on the door, and goes, ah, who can I help you? And, and it was Julia Child. Really? Oh. And he did a market research thing. They were like sampling something, and she invited him in and had dinner. And wow. you know, he was a 19 year old, long haired hippie freak at BU. Oh, that's and had a really nice. experience in a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Both wines are delicious, but I, I, I personally mm -hmm. am detecting more acidity. In the my bro personality. In the. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. I'm sorry. I even... I'm loving the Barbaresco. I Barbaresco. am too. I think it's smoother in tannins. Um, it's lovely, and it's really cutting. You know, usually when you have a, a beef dish, you want something that you can mm -hmm. cut it a little bit, but mm -hmm. still. I'm so short. Hair with it. Hair with it. That's it. lovely. I love that Barbaresco. Mm. What do you think, and Rachel? This yes. one is the burgundy. Yes, I prefer the burgundy with my, my my book. Well, on. And I on the same <laughs> kind of so, one. what do you think are the textural differences in these two wines? They're similar. They're similar textural. Their yeah. weight is similar. The tannins are lovely. They're soft tannins. I feel that dryness at the end. Mm -hmm. You know that finish. Mm -hmm. I thought the Barbaresco had a little more. Fruitiness to that, maybe well, jammy it just, almost. It had a big. It was a bigger experience for me. Yeah. Where the Pinot Noir was more of a blending, but that's just me. You know. Yeah. I'm getting a little bit more spice and acidity in the um, the burgundy in the, the bar Barbaresco. The Barbaresco. Oh, yeah. okay. Me too. Right. Um, but for so I prefer the the smoothness and the and the, and the lower tannins of the Pinot Noir to pair with this mm. dish. I agree. Hey, we agree. Yeah. <laughs> so we have two of the Barbaresque, and then what would you, what's your Yeah, I'm a burgundy guy on this one. Right. Michelle, the bread yeah, is just perfect, too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Dish. Well, that rustic. And there's chew to that. There's there's some definite texture to that bread, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. You won't believe how simple this bread is to make. It's beyond I'm simple. Not a baker. Wow. It's like fail safe. It's very forgiving. Mm. The less you do to it, the better it mm. comes out. This dish, it's a rustic dish, right? Yes. And it's hearty, and that bread is so rustic mm. yeah. and hearty. And then, of course, that Pinot Noir <laughs> my <laughs> choice, perfect, yes. um, is just perfect, perfectly balanced with this, this dish. So it's really, it's a wonderful meal. Mm.